Hello everyone and today I'm going to be talking about my top five features I would love to see for future Cricket Captain games to add to future editions of the game. Now a quick disclaimer, I do not think that any of these five features will actually turn up in Cricket Captain 2024, but I do hope that for future editions one day that eventually these five features which I have chosen to basically make up what would be a perfect Cricket Captain game for me to one day hopefully add to the game and having these five features would definitely change the game of Cricket Captain and be major updates in and around themselves. So without further ado, we're going to start this top five with number five on the list, a graphics update. Now, I know a lot of people have been calling for this for a while. They want a graphics overlay, graphics update to the game of Cricket Captain. You know, it's been the same sort of graphical way for a long time now. So people want to try and up that, be a better graphical game than it is right now. Even though I will point out that I've put it number five because I personally don't play Cricket Captain for the graphics. The graphics are what they are. And honestly, they make it funny, the fact that, that there's funky stuff happen every now and then where people dive and then they jump up and then someone throws the ball and it goes straight into the ground and somehow bounces like this or someone takes a catch when it looked like it was clearly gonna be six and vice versa. I kind of like that about the game more than anything else. I do play the game though. I, I don't play the game for the graphics. I play the game for the simulation of the game, if that makes sense. However, if they did do a graphics update to the game, I would definitely not turn it down. I would definitely be on board for that idea. So that is exactly why I put it at number five on the list because a graphics update would be considered a major update to the game of Cricket Captain as it is right now. At number four, we have an interesting one. More competitions. Now I've put this because I feel like, for example, they could really dive deeper with the database that they do have. So that, for example, you could maybe even run under-19 World Cups. You could potentially, being the captain of like New Zealand doing under-19 World Cups, which would be a di very different element to the game. Obviously, again, that's just an example of a competition and it might not be very coder friendly, but that is the sort of stuff I'm looking at. You know, maybe, again, the Ireland first-class scene as well. Afghanistan's first class team potentially as well having those domestic teams available in the game for a database that would definitely be a major update again to be able to delve into those two domestic competitions and being able to I guess make your way from there to the to the Irish and the Afghanistan international teams through the domestic system it would just be an awesome feature to add to the game because teams like Bangladesh currently I don't even think you can play as a Bangladesh in the first class scene in general being able to play more competitions in the game than you currently can would definitely up again to be a major update to the game. And these sort of more competitions is, is quite vague as well and could be, you could definitely add some sort of competitions that would definitely change the game and we'll get onto that later in this top five as well. Number three for me, it's being requested by a few people who play Cricket 22 at the moment, the ability to add custom teams and play custom tournaments in the game. Because essentially in Cricket 22, you can have, you can create your own custom team, chuck in any sort of players that you sort of want in that team, and then play sort of like a six team competition, for example, where there's six other random teams or the teams that you select in that competition and you end up playing a T20 comp. And then it basically, you know, pulls out the sort of fixes that would be for a T20 comp and you can just play it, whether you simulate it, whether you play each and every individual game, whether you play as one team and then simulate the rest. Using and playing with custom teams in a custom tournament sort of mode could definitely be something that Cricket Captain could look into because, I mean, at the end of the day, that you, they have the World XI ability to do that in the game. So there's no reason why they couldn't add such a thing into the game in the future where you can actually make your own team or even make your own players within the game of Cricket Captain. Basically making your own teams and making your own tournaments to expand the viability of Cricket Captain to be more usable and accessible by more people to play the game. Because I think, again, the more of these features that get added to the game, if they do eventually get added, then 100% it would make the Cricket Captain game stronger than it would be right now. Number two on the list is a very, very requested idea, the DRS system to be able to just go upstairs and say, look, I don't know if you've got this decision right, umpire. Can I please challenge your call? 
And for the game to basically spit back a, it does kind of show you whether the ball is pitching in line, the impact is in line, and whether the it is actually hitting the wickets or not. I feel like that would be quite a simple thing to implement in the game, because you could just say, you know, oh, I want a challenge, and then it just literally looks at the ball. Is it out or not out? And then it just like, you know, makes a, de makes a decision. Like, if it's, w if it's missing the wickets, which is basically not out, and then you review it, and then obviously, you know, it turns out to be not out, then the decision just needs to be reversed, you know? I can definitely see this one being added in first. I definitely think DRS could be added in first because it, they already have half of the element in the game. They show you if the LBW is not out. I mean, again, I will say for caught behinds that they don't typically, you don't edge and, and then get caught behind and then they don't get it sort of stuff. It's more that the LBWs sometimes are very, very rarely, but they are occasionally wrong, as it should be because umpires do make mistakes. But I guess for the DRS to fully work, they would have to add in a caught behind system as well, which is the crux of the current system. Number one on the list for me, I want to see this one added into Cricket Captain. A hundred percent has to be women's teams. There's got to be some sort of women's database starting to build because it just doesn't feel right for them to be left out of the game. Like I want to be able to run some of the best women's teams in the world in Cricket Captain. Like surely they can somehow find a way to code that into the game. Because I do feel like, even if it's just the 100 to start with, it would definitely change the game for women's cricket in general. And for the game of Cricket Captain. Because it would be much more marketable to the female players of Cricket Captain. And even to people who play the game already like me. Like, I would totally play a woman's career mode in the game of Cricket Captain. That I would definitely, definitely jump on board. Having women's teams make their way into Cricket Captain. And hopefully into future games of Cricket Captain as well. Because I do feel like women's cricket's only gonna get stronger from here. So it definitely feels like jump on board the trend whilst it's still very new because it's going to get bigger and it's going to get better. Women's cricket around the world is only gonna get stronger. So I really, really do hope that we can see some women's teams in Cricket Captain in the future because I would 100% be down to play a career mode for women's cricket in the game of Cricket Captain. That is actually all for today, everyone. Those are my top five features for future Cricket Captain games to add to the game and to the universe of Cricket Captain to basically update it, make it better, have all of these be major updates in the game, whether they only add one in every game from for the next five years or whether they have one big game where they bring all these new ideas in or whether they slowly try and bring all these ideas into Cricket Captain into the future. It will be interesting to see. I do not expect that this video will change anything for the universe of Cricket Captain, honestly, but these are just my personal top five features I would love to see in future Cricket Captain games. And who knows, maybe this is some sort of prediction video where 10 years down the line, I can look back and say, I predicted the future was gonna happen, but I really do hope that someday these features make it onto Cricket Captain. And if they do, it would change the way that I and other users of the game would play the game because they would be such major updates let me know down in the comments below what features you would add to the game of Cricket Captain in the future. Did I miss anything? Did I overlook anything that you think should be added to the game of Cricket Captain moving forwards? And until next time, everyone, take care.